Anyway, today we're doing a little cooking video to prevent this mom guilt. I mean, I still have it, don't get me wrong. It's so delicious, you will die. Okay. So we'll always have something healthy in the fridge to eat. That's by the way my mom taught me, like, don't kill my vibes, okay? Well, I have many favorite chocolates. Good morning! Say good morning, mama! <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. I just woke up not too long ago uh, we sent Allegra my older daughter to school so I'm kind of now putting myself together starting the day it's our morning together with Aurora <laughs> every morning before I start working before my assistant comes I spend a good amount of time like one and a half hour before her first nap together with Aurora <laughs> I feel like dividing this little times to kids individually it helps me to prevent this mom guilt I mean I still have it don't get me wrong I think I have less of it because I feel like okay I dedicated some time with her in the morning so I feel like I can focus on my work fully on the afternoon uh, because let's be honest I'm working from home it's not easy in terms of focus so anyway today we're doing a little cooking video as you already know my cooking videos are very easy going very freestyling very <laughs> realistic let's put it this way um i try not to overcomplicate cooking sometimes i like to overcomplicate cooking when i have time and, and passion and energy but most of the time as a mom a busy mom of two a working mom i don't really have time to be like super creative in the kitchen so my recipes are pretty like easy to execute and it's just ready to give you a glimpse of what i eat personally uh, realistically and what helps me to really stay in shape so today will be a video about uh, me eating and tells you little tips of what helps me personally to stay in shape uh, so we are on to our breakfast soon right mama you already had your milky you already had your breakfast right you did. <laughs> and before we go to the kitchen, guys, I want to point out what helps me to stay in shape is carrying the kids. <laughs> I have to tell you, my arms never been that torn as now because honestly, like your arms constantly in this tension of carrying kids, but my back hurts though. <laughs> it's not gonna lie, my back hurts, right? So as you already know, in the morning, I like to get a green juice. I already shared it so many times. I was rushing Allegra to school, so I already drank it. But uh, quickly, uh, you can find a recipe of my green juice on my channel. Yes, mama. And um, in the morning, I add a scoop of uh, collagen. I use the one by Asian Nature. We the updated the packaging, so the packaging now looks different. It's kind of an old badge that I was taking before pregnancy, but I look at the expiration date, it was still valid, so I continue taking it after. And I also take curcumin and cur turmeric and curcumin into my juice, like it's two droplets. This is for like, oxygenating your body, for brain clarity, for joints, like there's so many benefits in this. And the collagen, obviously, it's more for beauty, for skin, for nails, for... It's actually also good for joints, I think. But anyway, so I do green juice with all my supplements right away, just kind of get it out of the system. Get to get it out of a way, not a system. <laughs> get it in the system out of a way, okay? So once I like raise like out of the home, she's at the stage where she wants to be carried all the time. The next step, I will be now making my matcha and also on the days when I'm kind of focusing more on getting more proteins and being more like lean and having more cleaner diet because honestly like I eat whatever I want like I literally eat whatever I want some days are more wild some days I will wake up and I'll have like a leftover birthday cake in the morning which obviously I don't have as often you know I don't have the birthday cake every morning but some days are like that or some days I go to the cafe in the morning I have a croissant like I'm allowing myself to do whatever I want but let's say on the days when I want to eat more cleaner this is the option that I will show you today that I usually eat okay so I buy this farmer cheese uh, honestly I buy all these different brands this one is farmer cheese no salt added plain unsweetened looks like this 
Honestly, it reminds me of home because when I was a kid, I used to eat that so much. The cottage is this amazing source of protein. It's pretty lean. It doesn't have a lot of fat. I mean, it has a gram. Is it a lot? I don't know. But anyway, the the fats, the milk fats are pretty healthy, especially for women health. So I take a cup like this and I um, fill it up like halfway probably. Look, we have here cottage cheese with berries and a spoon of honey Aurora. <laughs> you guys asked me what helped me to stay in shape. <laughs> Picking up kids toys to pick up the kids. So this is kind of gonna be my breakfast. I also gonna have a bite of eggs. That's actually a leftover eggs of Allegra. But I kind of gonna have a protein rich breakfast on the days when I, as I said, feel like I need a little bit of more focus on being lean and being more cleaner on the diet side. I, I also like to do protein rich breakfast, especially on days when I go hard on workouts, which I'm planning to go hard on workouts today. I've been, I've been sick last week, so I wasn't really working out. So today is a day. Today is a day. <laughs> I'm keeping myself accountable, okay? Please making a mess here. Who's making a mess here? Hi. <laughs> So guys, just to show you closer again, this is the brand I buy of Pharmacies and this is the brand of honey that I buy, it's Manuka Honey and it's great if you take it raw, like not in a hot drinks. It has a lot of benefits and it's great for immune system. So I'm making my matcha. I usually do matcha in the froster. I find this to be easier. Even so, they say with a wooden whisk, it's better. It's like preserves more antioxidants in green tea. But at this point in my life, I'm about efficiency. I'm not looking too deep into things, okay? But anyway, so I made matcha separately. I do it with the hot water. Now I'm frosting the milk. I'm using Elmhurst. It's not organic uh, almond milk, but from all the almond milks I try, this one frosts the best. And I like to have my milk frosted okay i don't like this watery thing that's just there i like to have a real experience of matcha cappuccino or cappuccino for me like having frosted milk is important so as i said i'm doing it separately because i like to have a little separation of milk and matcha so i'm first doing actual matcha and then i'm adding milk into it okay by the way i always do it in this cup because I go usually to a playroom uh, with Aurora and I don't want it to be tilted, uh, create a mess. So I kind of enjoy my matcha as the day goes, okay? I enjoy it throughout the hour. What's up, Ma? Yeah, we're going to a playroom, huh? She's so funny. She's so cute, guys. The time flies too fast, okay? I don't want her to grow up. This stage is so cute. She's like my little doll. So I'm adding a frosted milk. <coughs> on top so this is how it looks looks exactly how it's supposed to okay <laughs> look exactly how it's supposed to should we go to playroom should we go to playroom yeah <laughs> let's go what's up guys it's time to cook lunch i have quite a late lunch today it's almost two o'clock i was like so busy <laughs> i was trying to get everything done because my nanny was leaving at 1 30. i'm here with aurora she's having her milky i'm going to make a salad so since i have very limited time it's going to be very easy going simple salad but very delicious and it's probably one of our favorite salads so let's go so we're gonna make a salad and dive with pear and goat cheese salad. So delicious, you will die, okay? And with chicken for protein, I pre soak the chicken. By the way, this is a tip you absolutely cannot skip because it makes the chicken from tasting like a rubber and cardboard into actually tasting like a juicy chicken. So I took chicken tenders or you can do chicken breast and you're pre-soaking it in a cold water and you add there quite a bit like a good amount of coarse salt and you pre-soak it for 10 minimum 10 to 15 minutes not longer than that because you're risking to make your chicken too salty 
but I don't know what it is. It must be some chemical process. It somehow locks the moisture of the chicken. I tried so many different tricks on how to lock the moisture in the chicken breast. This is the only trick that works. I tried buttermilk, socket and buttermilk. I tried to grill it differently. I mean, I tried different rubs. It does not work. Only this way it works. So pre-sock it for 10 minutes, which has been already 10 minutes. I'm gonna do it in air fryer. I'm finally committing myself to use my air fryer because let me tell you, I bought it. And for like a year, I didn't really touch it uh, because I think I, I kind of made some things a few times in the air fryer. And I don't know if I made them wrong or something, but it just did not come out like it should. Like it wasn't, it was too dry. So I finally like getting a hand of it and understanding how to use it. So I'm gonna air fry that chicken breast and then we're gonna start doing a salad. Okay, so we are going uh, over the ingredients. I prepare them. So we have here endives. Endives I buy in Fresh Market. You can find it in a store that sells produce that is imported. I think this is from Belgium. I like how crispy it is and it also has a lot of health benefits. So we also got a pair of uh, walnuts. I actually like to pan fry them. I'll show you in a bit. And also we got goat cheese. And for dressing, honestly, I just go simple. Just go with olive oil, salt and pepper. So this is all the ingredients we need. Super simple, very few ingredients. So let's get to cutting. So as you see, I pre-cut it, endive and pear. We toss it all in the bowl. Right now we're gonna dress it and put some cheese in it. Bear with me. For dressing, we are doing just olive oil. I love to make it rich in olive oil. Not gonna lie, I don't usually buy sauces from the store because they're loaded with like sugar and all other things so i make my own usually and a lot of times i literally just dress salad with olive oil lemon and salt that's my like go-to so with salted make sure you don't salt too much because we're going to add cheese as well pepper love love a fresh pepper to make it a little spicy and we have toasted nuts that already cooled down so all you have to do is just literally break them up on top. Okay, so we're having all the ingredients here already in the bowl. All we need to do is just mix it up together. So we have our chicken already here. We're gonna transfer it in a little bit. I, for the carb, I'll have quinoa. You know I'm big on food prepping because I don't have always time to cook and most of the time I also do food prepping for my kids so we'll always have something healthy in the fridge to eat that's by the way my mom taught me like growing up our fridge was always full with the food prepping so this is the quinoa I made last night I love to have like quinoa or rice or buckwheat already cooked and pre-made in the uh, containers. So this way, whenever I need, I can literally toss it in a salad or a lunch box in Allegra's case. So I will warm up the quinoa that I prepared yesterday and we will be ready to eat. Okay, so this is our final look on the food. We have quinoa, roasted chicken, and hair and I goat cheese salad. Okay, guys, we're on to the fun part, the eating. <laughs> I have to say, it took me quite a bit of time to like put a roll to bed, prepare all the food, film everything. So it's quite a bit of a late lunch, not gonna lie. Let me just, I shouldn't be talking and eating. <laughs> Damn, I was thirsty. I'm drinking sparkling water. I wanna point out that 
I will be sharing more wellness here and my approach to eating and just generally healthy habits. I take it really personal when people stay accuse me of certain things like that I'm promoting food disorder, etc. And as somebody who had food disorder, I take this matter seriously. As I said, I, I share what works for me. And if that does not feel right for you, don't do that, you know? So, but I think my focus, my intention always been promoting healthy eating, mindful eating, just creating a healthy relationship with food has been a goal of mine in the last, I would say 10 years that I've been living i think i achieved it and as i said don't kill my vibes okay i'm in a good state i'm healthy i feel great i'm in a great weight i bury two kids that are healthy i feel active motivated so i feel good about myself and about what i do with my food with my daily habits so i just want to share it but as i said if you don't feel like it's right for you just don't simply do it okay this salad i have to tell you it's been our go-to for at least a few years. My husband is absolutely obsessed with it. Fun fact, he's actually the one who taught me to do that salad. They actually do quite similar salad in Cipriani, famous Italian restaurant. They have it kind of on and off the menu. Sometimes they do it with avocado, which is also, by the way, delicious. But this one with pear, it's kind of more seasonal. The one tip that I forgot to mention, try to buy a pear that is ripe and very sweet. So you kind of get the salty sweet combination, which is really, really nice. I have to say this pear is not very ripe, so it doesn't give me that same satisfaction. But when you get a ripe pear, absolute perfection. To talk a little bit about what I eat for lunches is, as you see, I always include a good carb, Oh, sometimes I just do white rice as well, so any carb really, sometimes I do bread, protein and a salad. This is kind of my, the combination, the core of my lunches. Not gonna lie, sometimes I don't have time to prepare a full meal like this. And I just literally do like avocado toast with some protein on top. But in ideal world, this is what I would like my lunch to look like every day. For dinner, same thing, like I feel like um, sometimes if I have no time and i have very light lunch i will have a heavier dinner with like protein carb salad uh, but some days when i have a lunch like this is more fuller for dinner i will skip maybe carb and we'll just do salad with protein like just depending really how i feel how my hunger is so this is kind of how i do it cheers i'm off to eat my lunch and go back to my babies <laughs> Hey guys, we just got back from Pato. And don't forget me! No, you're here. Um, Allegra was a champ. I gave her a choice today to play paddle or go home. She chose paddle. She needs a little bit of refill, so we all, the whole family, decide to have a protein smoothie. Uh, this one, one of my favorite. It's delicious. Kids love it. Husband I love it. I love it, right? What do, what do we I have there? Diet. Do you remember what we have there? Okay, so we need so. for the smoothie, we need frozen berries. Um, I add, that's enough, about for a whole family, I add about two cups. For myself, I add about a cup. And then we'll need a whole banana and we will need almond milk. I'm using this one by own first. Just careful, no rush, okay? Ooh. Scoop of protein powder. I use this protein powder by Sprout Living. It's a vegan protein powder that is like artichoke pea base, which is great and healthy. Perfect. Done. And we need uh, one tablespoon of any, any nut butter. This one is almond butter, so just to make it a little fatty, you know? smooth so as you blend it you will understand if you need a little bit more liquid so whenever I blend it becomes too thick I just add a little bit of almond milk almond milk or water Welcome back to my kitchen. We are doing dinner. The kids are asleep. 
you know that feeling when you put kids to bed and you can finally breathe it out? <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. I love my kids, but at the end of the day, when they do so much talking and so much movements, you just feel like you want to decongest from that. <laughs> anyway, we're cooking dinner right now and I actually making a salad today. Very simple, <laughs> very simple salad. I'm making a Caesar salad. I actually have the dressing prepped because in the Caesar salad, I feel like the main thing is a dressing because all other ingredients are pretty simple. So I'm gonna walk you through all the ingredients, write down the description and the description of this video, all the instructions that you need. And I will also make a salmon for protein. Since I had like a protein smoothie not too long ago, and I don't really feel extremely hungry. So I will have just a salad with a salmon. I will not cook any carbs. I mean, the salad will kind of have croutons on top and um, the actually like Caesar salad is kind of on the heavier side. So let's get to it. Let's cook it. Let's do this. <laughs> I will actually start with salmon. Uh, I'll put it in air fryer just to make it quick. But I buy frozen filet salmon that is kind of prepackaged already. You just throw it in the water to defreeze real quick and then you just put a dressing on it, marinate it for a little bit and then put it in the air fryer. To be honest with you, I don't have time to marinate today, but I'll still put the dressing that I usually put, which is it's my favorite one. I love uh, olive oil, a little bit of honey, a little bit of soy sauce, and it comes out so nice and so juicy and almost like glazed, which is really nice. put the salmon for roast mode 375 for about 15 minutes you kind of have to check but usually 15 minutes is more than enough I actually have this one is a salmon from a store but sometimes when I buy like a leaner salmon that is wild caught I buy Alaskan salmon wild caught by subscription and it's leaner so I would need like 10 minutes so depending on how fatty the salmon is so you have to adjust the temperature Okay, so let's see a final result. This is how the salad looks like. It's, I put an anchovy on top, showered it with parmesan, we'll add some croutons here. And we have side of honey glazed salmon that is absolutely delicious. Let's add some croutons. <laughs> okay, now is a really final result of it. <laughs> anyway, this is gonna be my dinner. I often, as I said, make salads. It's one of my favorites and a side of protein and often side of carbs. But as I said, I keep carbs in the fridge. So whenever I feel like I need an extra carb, I always have it. And probably later I'll have a tea and maybe some chocolate. Sometimes I crave chocolate in the evening, sometimes not. So we'll see. But I hope you'll try this little recipe and I hope you like it as much as I do. As predicted, I'm coming back for chocolate, so I want to show you two of my favorite brands of chocolate that I usually buy and keep in my fridge. A few moments ago. Favorite dessert actually is chocolate ice cream. I absolutely love chocolate. Well, I have many favorite chocolates. Let me tell you that. So those are my favorite. I love kitchen chocolate this one is almond crunch this is pretty good i love the cashew cream one with vanilla beans it's delicious it has like cashew cream and vanilla beans inside 
and then this one is the conscious chocolate which is miami based brand it's very healthy it's sweetened with dates which is a big plus here so those two brands are my favorite if you want to try them i think i'll go today for the hue kitchen i usually portion it out i would have in the evening if i'm really craving chocolate i would have four squares usually if I have a little bit of craving, I'll have two. <laughs> but today I feel like four, to be honest with you. Okay, guys. I'm off to indulge into my chocolate. Watch TV series with my husband and go to sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will film more of them. Stay here with me on my channel. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment. If you have any question of you, if you just want to say hi. Bye-bye. <laughs>